The temperature was almost 60 degrees today, and what better way to spend the day than to get some more of our plants planted. I had just a few I wanted to get in, and I figure I might as well take the opportunity of the sunshine and a beautiful day while I can. Posey came over to join in. I knew she would want to considering she picked all of these out. <laughs> She's such a cutie. I got some of that incredible miracle Grow potting soil that's specifically for seedlings and seeds to help them get some healthy roots. I figure I can use all the help I can get. <laughs> and I decided I'm gonna mix that up with my Coast of Maine compost. Remember the one that has the lobster and crab in it? Well, my herbs are thriving, so this must be good too. We'll give it a shot. I'm just going to dump some boiling water over my mixed soil and compost so that way it can sterilize and kill anything that may be living inside of it. You always want to start with a clean slate. Clean. I didn't do that with my herbs because I didn't know to, but now I do, so I'm going to do it right. The green window boxes you see on the table actually came to me by accident. We went to Lowe's, Rosie Posey and myself, and she wanted to go out to the patio section to look at the flowers. So we went out there, but they didn't have one single flower out there yet. 
However, they had a lot of yellow stickers. So I started looking at them to see what they were. And this three foot sage green vinyl plastic, whatever it is, flower box was on clearance for $2.10. Not the brown, not the white, just the sage green. So needless to say, I bought five. I'm gonna go back and see if they have any more because that's just a great deal. Love that Rosie wants to be involved and wants to help with the garden. I think it's very important to let them help when they show an interest in something, especially if it's outdoors and helping around the house. So many kids nowadays just sit in front of video games and TVs and it bugs me. Call me old fashioned, but I love it when the kids are in the kitchen cooking with me or in the garden getting their little hands dirty. We just planted some strawberries that we actually got from Lowe's and it said that there was supposed to be 10 of them in there, but it was literally just one giant jumbled ball that I couldn't separate. It was not held together by elastics or strings. So fingers crossed, we plopped it right in and hopefully it'll produce. We have to wait and see. I do plan on doing more, but Rosie picked these out, so I figured we'd get them in. At the Dollar Tree, Rosie found these two boxes of what's supposed to produce tomato plants. And she asked if she could get them, and heck, for a dollar, you can't say no. So I was very surprised to open them up and find that it was kind of like a piece of fabric, if you will, that you could spread out, but I wasn't sure if I was supposed to. So I looked again at the box and it shows to take it out exactly as it is from the shape it comes in and put it in the ground. So you kind of put it in in the rolled up fashion that it comes in. You do not open it, you do not stretch it out. That's what I'm double checking. It literally goes right into the ground like that. And we'll see if this produces anything as well. The tomato plants that I did plant in the house earlier are thriving unbelievably. So regardless, I'll have my tomatoes this year, but Rosie wanted to try these and Nana never says no.
We also grabbed a couple random containers from the Dollar Tree as well, and this is one of them. So I'm literally just drilling some drainage holes in the bottom, and to this I'm gonna add some of that soil mixture, and we are going to plant asparagus. I'm choosing to do it in this container because I am told it's going to take two years for me to actually get a crop of asparagus and I want it to be in something that's easy for me to manage and bring into the house once the summer season is over and the frost is coming. Um, I know I don't have to, I could put it in the greenhouse, but I'm just feeling my way through all of this and that's what I'm choosing to do. The window box I just put together with the strawberries and the tomatoes as well will also be in the house until we are free and clear from our last frost. So, I'm trying. I don't know if I have a green thumb or not. <laughs> we'll find out. couldn't find my popsicle sticks but I have plenty of plastic forks so that's what I'm going to use to put what I want on them and stick them in the planters. Now we're going to give them a good watering and hope for the best. <laughs> If you're new to my channel please don't forget to hit that subscribe button i try to make two to three videos every single week and they can be on anything from menus to gardens and everything in between you won't want to miss it that's for sure to make sure you don't hit that bell and you'll be notified every time there's a new content thanks for watching